I wish all of you a very happy new year. It is a matter of great pleasure for me to participate in this function to lay the foundation stone of the TCS Global Learning Center. I compliment the TCS and its dynamic management for this highly creative initiative. This center will contribute towards an objective that is one of our top national priorities, that of imparting skills, training to our young men and women on a very large scale. We recognize that it is only by doing this that we can generate opportunities for productive employment for our youth in adequate numbers, while at the same time meeting the demands of our expanding economy for a skilled workforce. Therefore, our government has set very ambitious targets for itself in the area of skill development and is working hard to achieve them. We have taken several initiatives in this area and some of them have involved partnership with the private sector of our country. Ladies and gentlemen, I understand that the proposed global learning center of TCS will be the largest facility for information technology training in the city of Thiru Vandantapur. When fully functional, it will be able to train about 50,000 associates annually. It will also conduct holistic, professional and personal development program for TCS professionals. I am confident that the center which proposes to integrate elegant design ecological thinking and modern technology will set global benchmarks for corporate learning institutions in our country. TCS, I'm happy to know, is also setting up a software development special economic zone in Kiwi and Tapuru. The global learning center will further enhance the presence of TCS in the state of Kerala and Kiri Vanantapuram in particular. I hope to see even more initiatives by TCS and other IT companies in Kerala, especially in view of the high quality of human resource in this wonderful state of the Union. Ladies and gentlemen, TCS is a shining example of the success of Indian private enterprises in the last 20 years or so. It has called a niche for itself in the global market for IT and IT-enabled services and has set benchmarks of excellence in the area of software development. Today, TCS ranks among the top 10 IT services companies globally. It is not only the highest valued company in India, but also the second most valuable company in the world in the technology services industry. I compliment the management of TCS for having achieved these exciting end results. I am very happy that apart from being a global leader in the area of IT and IT enabled services, TCS has also been aligned to the need for helping our society. 
It has taken up several projects in the areas of education, health, and environment. The company has made a significant contribution to education through its adult literacy program, which has covered nearly 2 lakh beneficiaries so far. Its BPO employability program has trained and told over 22,000 graduates belonging to the weaker sections of society, many of whom have also been provided gainful employment in the TCS. TCS has also partnered with the National Skill Development Corporation under Project Udaho Iran to upgrade the skill sets of Kashmiri youth and enable their main scheming with corporate India. I congratulate Mr. Ramadhara for having played this very important role. In the area of health, the company has used its expertise in IT to develop an integrated hospitable uh, in integrated hospital management system which is being used by several hospitals and social organizations in our country. Ladies and gentlemen, the IT sector in India has witnessed phenomenal growth over the past several years, particularly in the area of software development. The government stands committed to providing an enabling environment which encourages the sector to grow even further and at a faster pace. Pursuant to the recommendations of the Rangachari report, several taxation issues confronting the IT sector have been addressed. We are also engaged in the resolution of issues pertaining to immigration and visas. We are trying to improve the hardware ecosystem in the country and are exploring the establishment of two semiconductor wafer of fabrication manufacturing facilities. Let me, ladies and gentlemen, conclude by wishing the Global Center of TCS all success. I also wish the TCS the very best for the future. Thank you and Jai Hind.